Welcome to the Deep Dive. Today, uh, we're diving into the world of AI. Specifically, we're going to be looking at a potential power move in the tech world. You sent us some articles about Lua Fuli, this young AI expert who is uh, really making waves. And she's caught the eye of Xiaomi, mm. a major player in the tech industry. Yeah. This is definitely a story with some layers to it. Um, you've got Lu Fuli's incredible journey. You have the rapid rise of large language models in the AI landscape. And then you've got Xiaomi's ambition to really uh, stake a claim in this rapidly evolving field. Okay, so let's unpack this first. Let's paint a picture of Lu Fuli for our listeners. Right. Who is this AI genius girl, yeah. as some are calling her? Well, she has a really intriguing background. Um, from a small town, she made her way to Beihang University. And what's fascinating is that initially, she wasn't even set on computer science. Hmm. Yeah, I think that resonates with a lot of us. Mm -hmm. You know, finding your path can take a few twists and turns. Yeah. So what was the pivotal moment for Lua Fuli? What launched her into this world of AI? It seems like her master's degree at Peking University was the turning point. She published eight papers at ACO, which is a top AI conference. It's a pretty significant achievement, especially at that stage in her career. Um, and that got her noticed on Zihu, a popular Chinese platform. And that's really where her reputation as this rising star in AI started to solidify. Eight papers. Wow. That speaks volumes about her dedication. Yeah. You know, there's also this anecdote about her turning down a lucrative side gig during her master's to really focus on research. It makes you wonder what drives someone like that. It does suggest a real commitment to the field, yeah. wouldn't you say? Um, it seems like she's driven by a deeper purpose, a genuine passion to really explore the potential of AI, not just chasing money or fame. Hmm. It sounds like she has a really clear vision. And it's interesting to see how her career unfolded after that. From research at Alibaba's Dambo Academy, to the world of finance with quant trading at Fantasia Holdings, and then to DeepSeek, where she worked on their large language model, DeepSeek V2, this experience must have shaped her perspective significantly. Absolutely. And that actually brings us to this deep seek connection. Understanding this company and their work is crucial to grasping why Xiaomi might be so interested in Luo Fuli. Um, so DeepSeek is this innovative company. They're focused on large language models, and they're known for their unique approach, mm -hmm. especially this commitment to open source development. Open source. So they're essentially sharing their AI knowledge with the world. That's a pretty bold move in such a competitive field, isn't it? It is, and it's proving to be pretty disruptive. Um, DeepSeek V2, the large language model that Lua Fuli worked on, has gained attention for being highly cost-effective. It's even been nicknamed AI Pinduoduo after this popular Chinese e-commerce platform known for its affordable prices. Imagine that, bargain hunting for AI. I love that nickname, AI Pinduoduo. So what did Lua Fuli have to say about her work on DeepSeek Day 2? Well, she shared her thoughts on Zihu, and her insights are really valuable. She emphasized that DeepSeek V2 has really impressive Chinese language capabilities, putting it on par with some of the top global LLMs out there. Um, she attributed its success to a combination of factors, an innovative model structure, a robust infrastructure, and their commitment to open source. I mean, DeepSeek has actually shared their technical reports, model weights, and even inference code on GitHub. That's remarkable. It really speaks to this collaborative approach to AI development. And she specifically highlighted this model structure, MLA plus DeepSeek MOE. What exactly does that mean and why is it significant? So it's all about efficiency and scalability. MLA stands for multi-level attention. So imagine you're reading a book. Your attention might focus on a specific sentence, a paragraph, or the entire chapter, depending on what you're trying to understand. MLA works similarly. It allows the model to focus on different levels of information within the text. Um, Deep Seek Mo, which stands for mixture of experts, adds another layer of efficiency. Think of it like having a team of specialized experts each with their own area of expertise. So instead of relying on one generalist, the model can consult these specialists as needed, making it much faster and less resource intensive. So it's like dividing a complex task into smaller, more manageable parts, yeah. allowing the model to process information more efficiently. It's almost like they're creating a more streamlined, focused way for the AI to learn and understand language. Precisely. And Lua Fuli herself expressed a desire for more engineering type AI labs in China. Um, Labs that focus on the practical, large-scale design needed to make AI more accessible and applicable in the real world. Her experience at DeepSeek seems to have solidified this vision, and it may well be what attracts her to Xiaomi. That's an interesting point. Yeah. Let's talk about Xiaomi's interest in large language models. Why is a company known for smartphones and smart homes suddenly focused on this area of AI? 
Well, Xiaomi isn't entirely new to the AI game. They have an existing AI team. They've been working on their voice assistant, Xiao Ai, and they're even venturing into self-driving cars. However, when car. it comes to large language models, they've admitted that they're a bit behind. And that's where Lei Jun, Xiaomi's founder, yes. comes in. Right. He's reportedly very keen on bringing Lua Fuli on board, yeah. even potentially offering a substantial salary. What's driving his interest, do you think? Well, Lei Jun has openly stated that Xiaomi is late to the game when it comes to LMs. He seems determined to change that. And he appears to believe that Lua Fuli is the key to accelerating their progress. Knowing Xiaomi's focus on delivering value and affordability, they're likely aiming to develop LLMs that align with their brand identity. Efficient, cost-effective, and potentially focused on local deployment rather than relying solely on the cloud. So they're not just trying to copy what others are doing. It seems like they're really looking to differentiate themselves right. to create something unique. And it's worth mentioning that they already have some experience in this area. They've developed smaller scale LLMs like Milimem 6B 1.3B and have even updated their voice assistant Xiao Ai with a new LLM version. That's right. They're not starting from scratch. And they're also open to collaboration. They've been combining in-house development with third party models, which aligns with their emphasis on efficiency and practicality. So they're being very strategic about this. But let's get back to Lua Fuli. Why her specifically? What makes her stand out? among all the other AI experts out there. I think her experience with DeepSeek V2 is likely a major factor. Remember their focus on efficiency, open source development, and cost effectiveness. That aligns perfectly with what Xiaomi seems to be striving for. They're essentially looking at DeepSeek as this blueprint for success, and Lua Fuli is the architect who can help them build on that foundation. It's as if they see her as holding the key to unlocking a new level of innovation for Xiaomi. But it must be more than just her technical skills. Right. There's something about her vision, her leadership style, that must resonate with Xiaomi's ambitions. I think you're spot on. It's not just about replicating what DeepSeek has done. It's about what Lua Fuli represents, this new generation of AI talent who can bridge the gap between cutting-edge research and real-world impact. If you were Lei Jun, yeah. what would you see as Lua Fuli's biggest contribution to Xiaomi? What's the end goal here? I think he sees her as this catalyst, someone who can inject fresh perspectives and a new level of energy into Xiaomi's AI strategy. She could accelerate their development process, help them catch up in this intensely competitive LLM race, and maybe even surpass their rivals. So it's not just about catching up, it's about taking the lead, about disrupting the market with a unique approach to AI. Precisely. And remember, her emphasis on this engineering aspect of AI, Xiaomi is renowned for its hardware expertise its ability to build devices that are both powerful and affordable. Combining their hardware prowess with Lua Fuli's vision for large-scale AI engineering could lead to some truly groundbreaking products. Think about the possibilities. AI-powered smartphones that actually live up to the smart label, mm. smart homes that anticipate your needs, even those self-driving cars they're working on. It's a vision of AI integrated seamlessly into our lives not just as this novelty, but as a fundamental part of our everyday experiences. It's about making AI accessible to everyone, democratizing access to this transformative technology. And it seems that Lua Fuli shares that vision. Remember her frustration with the lack of engineering focus in China's AI scene? Xiaomi could provide her with the platform to put those ideas into action on a global scale. So let's consider the potential impact of this move. What happens if Lua Fuli takes the helm of Xiaomi's AI efforts? Well, on a practical level, Xiaomi could quickly close the gap with its competitors in the LLM arena. Um, we might see a rapid rollout of new AI-powered features across their entire product line, from smartphones and smart home devices to potentially even robotics and healthcare. But the impact could extend far beyond Xiaomi itself. Okay, now you've got me really intrigued. What's the bigger picture here? Well, if Xiaomi successfully combines cost-effective LLMs open source collaboration, and this focus on real world applications. It could set a new standard for the industry. It wouldn't just be about Xiaomi winning, it would be about changing the game entirely. So potentially a paradigm shift in how we approach AI development and deployment. Exactly. It could inspire other companies to follow suit, making this powerful technology more accessible and affordable. This could accelerate the integration of AI into our daily lives in ways we can't even imagine yet. And it all circles back to Lua Fuli. If she joins Xiaomi, it won't just be a career move. It could be this defining moment, this turning point in the evolution of AI. It's a lot of pressure for someone so early in their career. It is. But from everything we've seen, she seems more than capable of handling it. This move could signal this broader trend. Established companies recognizing the immense value of young emerging talent in AI. 
and empowering them to shape the future of the field. And this brings us to a crucial question. What will Xiaomi's AI strategy look like under Lua Fuli's leadership? Will they truly disrupt the market with their emphasis on cost effectiveness? And how will their vision for engineering-driven AI translate into tangible products and services? Those are the questions everyone's asking, and the answers could have far-reaching implications for the entire tech industry. It's a fascinating story, one that's still unfolding. We'll certainly be watching closely to see how it all plays out. It does seem like they're looking to differentiate themselves, to create something unique. And it's worth mentioning that they already have some experience in this area. They've developed smaller scale LLMs like MilM 6B 1.3B and have even updated their voice assistant Xiao Aie with a new LLM version. Right. They're not starting from scratch. Right. And they're also open to collaboration. They've been combining in-house development with third party models, which aligns with their emphasis on efficiency and practicality. So they're being very strategic about this. But let's get back to Lua Fuli. Why her specifically? What makes her stand out among all the other AI experts out there? Well, I think her experience with DeepSeek V2 is likely a major factor. Remember their focus on efficiency, open source development, and cost effectiveness. That aligns perfectly with what Xiaomi seems to be striving for. They're essentially looking at DeepSeek as this blueprint for success. And Lua Fuli is the architect who can help them build on that foundation. It's as if they see her as holding the key to unlocking a new level of innovation for Xiaomi. But it must be more than just her technical skills. Right. There's something about her vision, her leadership style, that must resonate with Xiaomi's ambitions. I think you're spot on. It's not just about replicating what DeepSeek has done. It's about what Lua Fuli represents, this new generation of AI talent who can bridge the gap between cutting-edge research and real-world impact. If you were Lei Joan, what would you see as Lua Fuli's biggest contribution to Xiaomi? What's the end goal here? I think he sees her as this catalyst, someone who can inject fresh perspectives and a new level of energy into Xiaomi's AI strategy. She could accelerate their development process, help them catch up in this intensely competitive LLM race, and maybe even surpass their rivals. So it's not just about catching up, it's about taking the lead, mm -hmm. about disrupting the market with a unique approach to AI. Precisely. And remember her emphasis on this engineering aspect of AI. Xiaomi is renowned for its hardware expertise, its ability to build devices that are both powerful and affordable. Combining their hardware prowess with Lua Fuli's vision for large-scale AI engineering could lead to some truly groundbreaking products. Think about the possibilities. AI-powered smartphones that actually live up to the smart label. Smart homes that anticipate your needs, even those self-driving cars they're working on. It's a vision of AI integrated seamlessly into our lives, mm -hmm. not just as this novelty, but as a fundamental part of our everyday experiences. It's about making AI accessible to everyone, democratizing access to this transformative technology. And it seems that Lua Fuli shares that vision. Remember her frustration with the lack of engineering focus in China's AI scene? Xiaomi could provide her with the platform to put those ideas into action on a global scale. So let's consider the potential impact of this move. What happens if Lua Fuli takes the helm of Xiaomi's AI efforts? Well, on a practical level, Xiaomi could quickly close the gap with its competitors in the LLM arena. Um, we might see a rapid rollout of new AI-powered features across their entire product line, from smartphones and smart home devices to potentially even robotics and healthcare. But the impact could extend far beyond Xiaomi itself. Okay. Now you've got me really intrigued. What's the bigger picture here? Well, if Xiaomi successfully combines cost-effective LLMs, open source collaboration, and this focus on real-world applications, it could set a new standard for the industry. It wouldn't just be about Xiaomi winning, it would be about changing the game entirely. So potentially a paradigm shift in how we approach AI development and deployment. Exactly. It could inspire other companies to follow suit, making this powerful technology more accessible and affordable. This could accelerate the integration of AI into our daily lives in ways we can't even imagine yet. And it all circles back to Lua Fuli. If she joins Xiaomi, it won't just be a career move. It could be this defining moment, this turning point in the evolution of AI. It's a lot of pressure for someone so early in their career. It is. But from everything we've seen, she seems more than capable of handling it. This move could signal this broader trend, established companies recognizing the immense value of young emerging talent in AI and empowering them to shape the future of the field. And this brings us to a crucial question. What will Xiaomi's AI strategy look like under Lua Fuli's leadership? Will they truly disrupt the market with their emphasis on cost effectiveness? And how will her vision for engineering-driven AI 
translate into tangible products and services? Those are the questions everyone's asking, and the answers could have far-reaching implications for the entire tech industry. It's a fascinating story, one that's still unfolding. We'll certainly be watching closely to see how it all plays out. It's like we're witnessing this pivotal moment in the world of AI, and Lua Fuli is right at the center of it. Mm. If she does accept this position at Xiaomi, it will send ripples throughout the entire tech landscape. Absolutely. And I think one of the most immediate effects could be an even more intense competition for top AI talent. Companies are realizing that individuals like Lua Fuli, with her unique combination of skills, experience, and vision, are essential to driving innovation in this field. Yeah, it's almost like this high-stakes game of chess mm -hmm. with tech giants vying for the best minds in AI. And it's not just about the money, right? There's the allure of working on these cutting-edge projects, making a real impact, and being a part of something groundbreaking. Exactly. Lu Fuli's story is really a testament to the incredible opportunities that exist in the field of AI right now. It's a field that's evolving at an incredible pace, and it's attracting some of the brightest minds from around the world. It's exciting to think about the possibilities. And her potential move to Xiaomi raises a lot of interesting questions. For example, how will her emphasis on open source development play out at a company like Xiaomi, which is known for its focus on hardware and consumer products? That's a great question. It'll be interesting to see how they balance those two approaches. Will Xiaomi embrace a more open collaborative model for their AI development, or will they try to find ways to integrate open source principles into their existing structure? And then there's the question of their overall AI strategy. Will they continue to focus on developing smaller, more efficient LLMs, or will they shift gears and try to compete head-to-head -head with the tech giants who are pouring billions into building these massive cloud-based models? It's a crucial decision. They have to find a way to differentiate themselves in a market that's becoming increasingly crowded. Their success will depend on their ability to identify a specific niche and tailor their AI solutions to meet the needs of that market. Perhaps they'll leverage their existing expertise in hardware and their deep understanding of consumer behavior to create these AI-powered devices that seamlessly integrate into people's lives. That could be a winning strategy. They've already shown they can build high-quality, affordable products that appeal to a global audience. If they can combine that with Luo Fuli's vision for practical, engineering-driven AI, they could become a major force in this field. It's an exciting time to be following the developments in AI, and this story about Luo Fuli and Xiaomi is a perfect example of the dynamic nature of this field. We have a young visionary leader, a company with a bold ambition to disrupt the market, and a technology with the potential to reshape our world. It's a story full of possibilities and one that we'll continue to watch with great interest. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of AI and the potential impact of Lua Fuli's journey. We'll be back soon with another fascinating topic to explore. Until then, keep those minds curious and stay tuned for more.